What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as a D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and OneNote, and we're going to look at the action which is Update Page Content Preview. This action allows you to update content in a page in your OneNote, so you can pass in some parameters and it'll update those things and update the content inside of that. So let's take a look at it today. So in Power Automate, I've got my manual trigger flow here, and I can click on New Step, and I can search OneNote, if I can spell OneNote, and then I can go down to Update Page Content Preview, this action. Now at this point, it's going to ask me for a bunch of details. So it's going to ask me for my notebook key, my notebook section, my page ID, and then some things that we want to update. Now, the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to show you um, another action that we previously used. So I'm going to add another action in between here. And I'm going to call this, I'm going to get this another one action. Uh, and it is uh, get page content. So I'm going to put these things in here. I'm going to choose my MCJ notebook. I'm going to choose my flow section. I'm going to choose my happy trails page. Next, I'm just going to add a terminate into here and show you this running. There's a reason for this, and it's, it's to basically get a look at the fields that we need to update down here. So let's look on test. Uh, no, yeah, that's not going to work. Um, so I just need to put uh, something in here. So we will put my MCJ notebook. We'll choose flow section one, and we'll choose the happy trail. So basically everything that we're doing in here, what do I do in here as well? So I just want to show you the content first. So we'll trigger this, save and test, we'll run the flow, and it's done. And if we expand this get page content, I want to show you this. So the outputs, as we've kind of seen in previous videos, is HTML. So yeah, it doesn't render very well in there, but essentially we can see this little HTML output down here. Now, all OneNote pages are stored as HTML pages. That's an important thing to know. So this action that we're going to look at is actually going to go into these tags and into these bits, and we're going to update the content inside there. So that's actually really complex because we're not just adding something to it, we can actually find something and replace it entirely. So what we're going to do just for uh, simplicity today is going to add something to the body of it. So there is a body tag here, so it says body, and then we have like data here, and um, we do also have like title tags and things like that, and head tags. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to add something into the body. Click on edit and get rid of this terminate. We'll go through each one of these things. So update target. So the target is the target tag that we want to update. So there are different tags that you can use. There is body, there is title, uh, there is ID as well. So you can specify inside your HTML a div uh, ID and then specify that ID. And you can then find the right place to insert the content. Um, the Update action is going to be what we're actually doing. So is this going to be an append? Is it going to be an insert, etc.? The update location, um, that is before or after um, where, we're, where we're finding that location. And the content is what we're going to add. So in this instance, I'm going to add something to the body. So I'll type body into there. Next, the action. So I get append, insert, prepend, and replace. So append is we're making amend, making an amendment to something. Insert is we're inserting something into it. Prepend is where we're, I think, um, adding it to the start, it's not at the end. So append is at the end, prepend is at the start. And replace is a straight replace. So in this instance, I'm going to choose append. Um, I'm going to be adding content to the body. Um, I'm going to show you something else in a minute, the, the, um, some documentation around all of these. Um, so you know what is you're doing because only certain tags are compatible with certain actions. Next, I'm going to add this afterwards, uh, and then the content at the end is going to be what we're putting in. So we could insert some HTML into here, or we can just write some plain text. Well, what I'm just trying to do is write some plain text and say uh, this is content gen generated by the flow. And that's it. We do have the ability to switch this into an array. 
So if you are generating this detail as an array and you may have more than one, um, if you create them into an array and put the content into the last part of it, you can make this as big or as little as you want. Um, but we do also have this handy little array editor here. And that's it. So let's click on test and we'll hope that I chose the right thing. Um, I hope that I chose a pen right. Um, we'll save and test and we will run the flow. I'll click done. Flow is running. Hope it's dry or green. Make sure I did the right thing. Run sense of green, yay! So we can see it's drawn green and we've got this content is generated off the flow. We can go to my notebook in OneDrive um, and we, here's the notebook, here's the page. At the moment it's not updated, so we don't have that at the bottom. If I just refresh this quickly, it will update, it's just not doing it in real time. It's not doing it in, like, in, um, in the screen. Uh, it says this is the content generated flow by the flow. So there we go. We can we can append content inside of our OneNote by using the HTML, which is the back end of the OneNote. Now, when I was researching how to use this action, um, this was one of the more complicated actions that I've had to use in a while because I couldn't understand what um, these bits were. Uh, and these are these are the actions and the, these are the details that is used in the Microsoft Graph. So when I started researching this, I just had to go to the Microsoft Graph aspect of the doc site and find details about that. So I'll put this link down below uh, in in the um, in the thingy section. Um, but I but this is what helped me. So we can see here we've got these targets, and the targets can be um, can have like these IDs. So we can say this is the ID of this, um, or this is the ID. Uh, we can append the body, which is what we did, and append the title. And again, down here is the actions, and this is the bit that I was confused about: is trying to trying to add something. So, adds the supplied content to the target as the first or last child, as determined by the position attribute. That's cool. Um, so that's the append. So we can do it at the start of the gym. Applies only to body div uh, ol and ul elements. So we were applying it to the body, and therefore I needed to use the body. When I first started testing this, I was trying to use insert, and it wouldn't let me do that. That's because this adds the supplied content as a sibling before or after the target as determined by the position attribute. Again, the position is down here before or after. Uh, prepend adds the supplied content to the target as a first child, shortcut for append plus before, um, basically meaning that this is going to be at the start, um, not at the end, whereas append uses the start or the end uh, and replace replaces the target with what we've got. Uh, and again, it's used for divs and you can also use it for data IDs, can't use it for bodies. So I would highly recommend if you need to use this action, looking at this page on the Microsoft Graph aspect of the doc site, because it will give you your uh, restrictions, just not power all text, not gonna do that for you. It's not gonna tell you, hey, you can't insert into the body because that's not something that you can do. Um, you need to append to the body uh, and that's the, the support and action. Um, and again, we can, um, you know, it has all the details on here. It's not as big and scary as you think, just have a quick look at over it. But there we go, that is, that is the action, that is update page content. It was a little bit more complex than I thought, uh, but the complexity helps you do more things. So you can do all sorts of weird and wonderful things with update page content, which is you can find the certain tags inside a page. So um, say you have a templated notebook, um, you're taking um, you know, requirements gathering and, and you're taking notes and things like that, you could use this action to say, hey, this is the content that needs to go in this section, this is the content that needs to go in this section, and you can have your flow go off and populate that one note for you um, automatically. So I think this is really useful, again, if you're using things like templated notebooks, if you're using standardized things that you're trying to get out, things like, um, you know, uh, requirements gathering, functional, non-functional, technical requirements, solution architecture, as well as just things like you know meeting, meeting and minute notes, uh, minutes and, and meeting notes and stuff like that that you could uh, essentially like template up and pass to Power Automate to put into the relevant sections. Then when someone else opens a notebook, it's all there, it's all easy to read, and it's all in the right sections without you having to do too much to it. Uh, which is great, especially if you're importing this into a different system and not straight into your, your OneNote that may need to be shared across everything. 
So what do you guys think? Is this an action you were aware of? Have you used it? Have you not used it? Did it kick your ass like it kicked my ass at the start? Uh, but luckily I got there in the end um, with a bit of research and determination. Just trying to stop me. Um, what do you guys think? Do you use it? Let me know in the comments down below what you use it for. If you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, click the subscribe button to stay up to date on my latest videos. I'll see you next time.